Accuracy is a staple skill set in a majority of rhythm games. While accuracy reflects scores in multiple different manners due to various scoring systems, at its core it still remains extremely important in one's play. Accuracy isn't always easy to approach however, as some people face difficulties assessing on how to improve it or simply not putting enough time into it. This then results in players missing out on crucial points in their respective rhythm games, and this can even translate into certain accuracy related habits. Not to worry though, because today we're going to go over 5 ways to improve your accuracy, as every top player utilizes at least one of these methods in the games they play. When a player trains on a tighter timing window than they are normally used to, they are acquiring new muscle memory for these windows, and are forced to hit much more accurately since they are still trying to acquire the same judgments, but they now have much less leniency. In games like Eterna and ITG, they train on what is called Judge 7, or in ITG, FA+, where the Marvelous window is now exactly half of what the original value is, more or less adding an extra judgment. Once the player is taught to consistently go for this strict judgment, they will find the original Marvelous timing window to feel much looser than before, and in turn will help their accuracy. Osu has this as well with the Hard Rock mod, a universal mod that applies to all game modes that tightens the timing windows quite a bit. While the mod varies between games in terms of difficulty, it still fulfills its purpose as being an accuracy trainer. The goal of this method is to teach players how to hit much more accurately and to give the player more specific feedback on how accurate they're really hitting. Don't feel discouraged if you need to change the timing windows just a tad looser than I noted, as the point is to be able to gather a sense of improvement so that you are able to improve at a healthy rate. This method applies to every rhythm game. Accepting is emphasizing certain notes in the song to keep a person on beat. In games like DDR and ITG, you'll hear certain notes being hit harder than other ones despite the difficulty of these songs not changing too much, or in Eterna where people will accent certain jumps in Jumpstream to make sure they don't get lost. Even in Clone Hero despite not having accuracy judgments, a player will accent every 4, 8, or even 16 strums just to assure they are able to facilitate which direction they're strumming in during long strumming sections. Accenting doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be noticeable all the time and that it won't be easily audible for the viewer, as the point of accenting is to keep a player's muscle memory and timing in check rather than hearing their physical taps, but both of these combined apply as well. Ghost Stepping is a bit more advanced than the other two methods listed, but can still be incorporated into some rhythm games. Ghost Stepping requires a player to hit extra invisible notes between notes in the song that might be too far away from each other to comfortably hit accurately. Here's an example of Chris Chike ghost stepping on Nori 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 from DDR Extreme. <laughs> The point of this method is to maintain some sort of internal metronome so that your body is constantly maintaining the same BPM at all times. The main reason why this technique is so advanced is because 1. Hitting notes that simply aren't there is a rather tricky concept to just spontaneously include in your playstyle, and 2. The player has to make sure the note that they are ghost stepping doesn't have a note too close to it, as ghost stepping too close to the same note you actually want to hit will cause you to get an extremely early judgement of some sort, normally a combo breaker. If you do find yourself wanting another way to improve your accuracy, don't be afraid to try it at the very least. Knowing when you're hitting too early or too late can make such a monumental difference in your accuracy, as some players can be constantly hitting early or late without even noticing. All of the Osu game modes and Eterna have a feature where you can tell how late and early you are hitting. These are known as the error in Osu and the mean in Eterna. Some games also have functions telling you whether you are hitting early or late in the middle of the song. For games that don't have these functions, it is entirely possible to determine for yourself, but it's going to require a good eye. Slowing replays down and looking at the receptors will allow you to see where you are hitting consistently, and is the best method to use if the game does not have a built-in function regarding this type of feedback. I know this sounds cliche, but patience is going to be your best friend when improving accuracy. Accuracy improvement requires you to really analyze what you are doing, and if a player is getting discouraged easily or impatient with their improvement, they will often abandon consistent accuracy training and move on with their usual play. These games aren't just based off of muscle memory and other physiological aspects. If a player is not in the correct mindset, they will not be able to achieve the goals they originally set out for themselves. Everyone gets a tad flustered here and there when they're playing, but don't hesitate to take breaks to get yourself back on track and return to practicing when you feel comfortable doing so. Train on tighter timing windows to make the original ones feel easier. If the ones you are practicing on feel too tight, don't hesitate to tone it down a notch. Try accenting certain notes in the song to emphasize your movements, which will keep you on beat for whatever you are playing. 
If you are looking for another method that is a bit more advanced, Ghost Stepping will allow you to hit invisible notes in between the notes you want to hit, to keep you in time with the music. Take advantage of the early and late feedback your game gives you. Assess whether you are consistently hitting early or late, and adjust accordingly. If you do not have this option, use replays and analyze your receptors to do so. Stay patient and take breaks from accuracy when needed. It can be often tiring to practice it, so don't hesitate to take some time off and come back when you feel comfortable doing so. And lastly, have fun. Accuracy is a very important element in rhythm games, and hopefully these tips will help you on your journey to improving it. With enough practice and patience, I believe that all of you can improve your accuracy quite a bit with just these pointers alone, and I wish you all the best of luck in doing so. Shoutouts to patrons Princesswell, Oum, Penda, Spencer, Water is Good, and Zildjian65 for supporting the channel, and feel free to support me on Patreon for more rhythm game content along with my other links below. I'll see you all whatever video I upload next, and take care.